What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday because it's snap on Friday. Today's a special one. Right there's Hamilton and we got a super special guest. The birthday boy right here. James Bearden. <laughs> he come over to hang out with us this evening. Be on the video. Super cool dude. Today's his birthday. I'll leave y'all with a little segment of our lunch and that way you guys can check it out. Let's go. That's him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering why. <laughs> he's been sitting there holding that damn camera. <laughs> and I wonder, is he watching the video? <laughs> no. <laughs> Friday. Well, there's the famous box that you got chastised over. Yeah. Let me get back here in the back, and that way you can be up front, James. Since there's it's your the birthday. Right over here, all the hats I got okay. right now. They got some like me and Clay got uh, waiting on to come I got, in. I got that. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen the TikTok that we did <laughs> of this box, right here, I'll put it in the video real quick. All right, guys, so Hamilton's here. He's got a brand new 68 inch Epic, as you can see. We've got the cardboard box off of it. And he's gonna show you the proper way how to get it off a pallet. The main way to do it is on one room this way. That's how you do it. That's how you get them off. <laughs> People would crap if they know how their box is coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, guys. Brand spanking new. Epic. Pretty cool. That way you guys can check it out. Epic series. Tough. So Hamilton got a lot of hate yeah. for showing people how he unloads two boxes. And uh, we got a lot of comments, and I got a lot of messages. And Quite frankly, my response is the same. It's his box, his business, his money. If he wants to throw it off the roof, hell, let me film it. That's what we want to see, right? Yeah, and you can ask, I mean, Clay, I can tell you here, I mean, my box has been coming here, what, three years at least? Yeah. Three years. And uh, I don't care if it's Epic, Masters, Classic, Heritage, they all come off the same way. I mean, it's a, a four inch drop. The box is completely empty. And I push them right off the edge of the pallet. Every one of them. Yeah, that's the first well, what people, ground, yep. people might not realize yeah. is when you load that box down and you roll it across my shop, it's taking way more abuse with yeah. them ski jumps in there. Yeah, these, and of course, I mean, obviously we can't see the bottom of the box, but these things are super reinforced. I mean, each one of the, the wheels is specifically built to handle the weight. I can't remember the capacity where each wheel can hold, but it, the wheels hold way more than what you can put in the box. Yeah. So a drop off the edge of a pallet is not going to hurt these suckers. As, All course, I know hear, is every one I've seen unloaded has been done that way. Same, I mean, have you ever hurt. seen any of them warped or buds or anything come out of them? No. Even Clay's box got pushed off the same way right here in front of them. So. Absolutely. It ain't hurt them. But that is a pretty box. You did yeah. a good job on that color combo on that. I like it. We open this bad boy all the way up. I like the full length drawers. Oh, we ain't all the way right there. There we go. That is one thing that I do miss about my snap-on box. James having to suck it in right yeah. here. <laughs> one more taco and that one's been open. Yeah. 
that is one thing that I miss about my snap-on box is them full-length drawers. Cause it's nice to have a lot put, of stuff in there. I mean, you can hold a lot of sockets, mm -hmm. right? Half inch, three eighths, quarter, and of course in a big truck shop like Clay's, you got three quarter, and you got one inch sockets. You can put them all up here. Yep, I had them all yeah. in mine. Sure did. Drawer. Due to these I actually, you don't got that dust. You don't have the dust collecting. Actually, yep. when I had, you know, my first the little blue box. Remember I had the whole mm -hmm. top full of those one inch sockets and it, yep. and it held it. I know. Uh, that box, a lot of people, the ones they've been here for a while, remember that box set up on a pallet its whole life until mm -hmm. the day I traded it back to it in. Yep. Because it was that shorter. Way, it was, yeah, it was four inches shorter than the yeah. other box. So we put it on a pallet right next to it. The pallet painted black. Most people, you probably wouldn't even ever notice Never it. Never noticed it. you looked yeah. at the pallet. The pallet painted Hamilton black. Hamilton had a box like, unloaded. And uh, when I got my new box, it was four inches taller. And I was like, man, this looks like crap sitting beside it. Yep. So I got one of those old pallets, painted it black, pushed that box up on the top of it, and that's where it stayed the whole time. You'd here. never notice it looking at it, but they was at <laughs> the same height though, after put, being put on the pallet. That's right. Stayed that way for a long time. Yeah. Till I pushed it off the edge of it, so I can load it on the truck. <laughs> yeah, I think you was the one that unloaded it. I was like, you <laughs> unload that thing off that pallet. <laughs> it's a snap-on box, it can handle it. What do you think, James? Tell everybody how old you are today. 61. 61 year old. And we learned some stuff. I know James' wife will probably watch this video. But uh, we learned some cool stuff. We learned about golf cart riding and fornification and... <laughs> Hamilton's in the market for a golf cart if y'all got one for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him turning red now. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do, ain't that right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like you got a bunch of new cordless stuff in this, yeah. this time. We been. This is the new one. This is the 9080 instead of the 9075, uh, which is over 1,500 foot pounds of breakaway torque. Of course, you always don't have the one people call the Milwaukee. Well, the Milwaukee this, Milwaukee that. I've seen it personally myself this morning on the 18 wheeler of Milwaukee. Would not take off a lug nut. And this one right here whipped it off. Really? No, I ain't a lot. It hammered on it for, I bet it probably hammered for five or six seconds and it zipped it off. Well, my rule yeah. is it don't matter if it likes it or not. As long as it does. If she don't like it, but she still does it, it's a winner. She's a keeper then. That's it. That's the same rule I used when I picked my wife out. She didn't have to like it, but she still did it though. All right, here's where Hamilton goes in the doghouse tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hamilton be sleeping beside this epic down here on the floor. I'd have to park the truck this way. That way I could pull the drawer out and sleep in the top of the drawer. <laughs> but Good thing she, Hamilton's wife don't watch the videos. She might or push or me. even worse, his daddy-in-law. Yeah. That would be even worse. I say anything, to, I say more to him than I will my wife. So. Still ain't got any brushless ratchets in. I think it'll be August 2nd would have showed on my email the other what day. What the crap? Waiting on them bad boys again. Got a lot of new picks in you. Got a bunch of junk like that. Yeah. I ain't gonna call it junk, I'm sorry. I'll, but you're people, not the sensitive dealer, so yeah, I don't, don't bother you. I call it junk, <laughs> I got a bunch of junk in. But yeah, we got, we've got we been getting a lot more stuff in now. We, uh, so we've been moving a lot more stuff here lately too. That's good. Of course, a big tow show's coming up, so I guess they better get it back in stock so we can start selling it. Looks like you got a new light in. Auto focus. Now, how does that work? I don't. I haven't even messed with one of them yet. I just got these in the other day. Well, teach us something, ma'am. We but we're gonna learn it all together because, like I said, I ain't even messed with one of them. Like I like auto focus lenses. I don't know. Maybe that's what that does. You got one of these, James? See, it shows 500 lumens on high, 1,000 lumens on low. And there's your part number. USB-C? I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's magnetic. Let me 
bright, ain't it? Yeah, it is bright. That must be the low setting. Got yeah, LEDs around the rim and the LEDs right here. There is like a little camera face right here. I ain't sure what that is. What's the deal with that? Probably, I bet it does get hot with all them. Oh, it's got like a little, looks like a scope mount right here. What's the, what's the deal? I think that, that goes from the. Uh, I don't know. I'm seeing spots at the moment, though. 550 lumens on high, 100 on low. Three and a half hour runtime on high, 10 hours on low. I like the angle of that thing, the way it can tilt. Still not sure about the autofocus. Look at that. That thing nearly spin all the way up. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. That's a magnet on the bottom. Rare earth magnet. They ain't too rare because Snap-on's got them on everything. We got them stockpiled in the warehouse. It's hard to tell on the camera how bright that thing is, but it's bright. So let's see if we can figure out what the... Let's see if I can... I don't know what the, the, the other little does. Oh, Fuel it changes light source. It. That's what it does. It changes the focus point. From a flood to a spotlight? Yeah, let me see if I can get my camera to zoom in. It's got like a nipple on this thing. You can't say nipple. Yeah, that's what it is. Looks like a nipple. Two switches for two modes. And when Set the match. light on manual mode. Hold pressing the switch to adjust lighting output when reach the highest, lowest, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Set the light on auto focus mode. The light will adjust lighting output by detecting the distance change from the object to the light source. See right here, I'm mashing the little target button. You see that? That's pretty cool. Now when I so, back it up, it'll redo it again. Might hit the power button again. So adjust the light, that's what the two little pieces is on top, man. It adjusts the light by depending how far it is from the light to the surface you're working on. That's yeah, pretty cool. How much is that $29 light? Probably $129. <laughs> Keep the lens clean. Yeah, this is, the top one is the manual switch, the bottom one is the auto switch. Well, it works. I think we done figured that out, though. Let me see if I can get it to, like I'm gonna hold the little trigger button here, the target button, and it'll see what it needs to light up that. Pretty cool. That's a neat little old light. They are 122. I got them on promo right now for just under 111. Them junkers is bright, ain't they? Yeah. It's got a magnet on the back. Nope. Just well, this one. is all aluminum. Stick it on here and see what it. I'm nope. just on the bottom then. How strong is that? Pretty stout. See if you was Wally. We'd. Test that out real quick, but I ain't gonna do that to you. Since it's your birthday, I ain't gonna do that to you. <laughs> I've already had one surprise. <laughs> yeah, y'all got to see a surprise on video. All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna do one of them. That's a pretty cool little light. We used to do the, the light check to everybody. Remember, we had the big square lights, uh -huh. the 5,000 lumens that plug up to the 110. And, uh, tell people all the time like really this thing takes your picture for snap on they'd look at you'd be surprised people would stand in front of it and smile until you hit that button and you're blind with 5,000 lumens that's we wouldn't see for 30 minutes yeah sorry ass snap on dealer do that see <laughs> your snap on dealer ain't got a sense of humor you should kick him in the gonads when you're yeah. back on the truck <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get one of them lights James nah, I'm on wait. 
They're pretty cool. Well, I need to buy them from my dealer, to yeah. be honest with you. That's true. That's understandable right there. Yeah. Because he sees the video, I quit getting the free stuff. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> did you say it was USB-C charger? It is USB-C. Yeah, that's what I need then. That way it fits all your other ones too. I need another light. Yeah, for sure. The 1,352 you got in there already? Yeah, I need my lights to match my ratchet count. <laughs> <laughs> Bought the ratchet last week, so. You got one of them little quarter inch drive multi-position head ratchets? Pretty cool. I doubt I'll ever use it, but it's cool. I, I, I doubt I'll ever use mine, but it's in the ratchet drawer. That's all that matters. The drawer, there's probably 35 ratchets in there. Well, I'm not going to use any handheld ratchet if I can reach this bad boy off in there. That's why I am. Yeah. Well, first I'm going to grab my short one. I'm going to try to get my short one. I I like the short one better than the, now my 3 eighths, I like the long one better. See, I like the long one because I, I break it loose with it. Like, yeah. I use it as a breaker bar. Well, the long one embarrasses me, so I'll stick with the short one. I, I broke the anvil off. Mine. Yeah? Yeah, literally trying to break something loose and broke the anvil off. You was pulling on it because they stopped. People think they are now. If you broke the anvil off, you was pulling on it. I was pulling on it. They, uh, I know the long, uh, well, I ain't got one up here, but the THLLF, just like this long quarter inch. I mean, that sucker's a hold the... Uh, $115 later, I had a brand new ratchet. Yeah. They were stout. Yep. Well, that's some long choke <coughs> right there, ain't there? Reach out there and get something. That's like where you, that's for like the tweezer for a fat man. That way you gotta bend all the way down to your foot to get that, get it out or whatnot. You need, the, need yeah. the, the straight ones for that. Yeah. yeah. Them jokers right there is long now. What? Even they long cutters too. Long cutters. No, these ain't. You don't if cut zip ties with flush cut pliers. You gotta leave them for somebody else to get stabbed. If you're with reaching that boys. far into something to cut it, you it just want to cut. It don't matter at that point. <laughs> it's bad. The only time you cut zip ties with flush cut is if you're the one working on them next. That's Otherwise, it. you like if it's a repeat customer. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't know where they come from, you don't stick the next guy with them. <laughs> cut them at an angle on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Oh me. All right, guys, I guess we're going to get the light and get Hamilton paid up and get her butts in here and get something productive done. Y'all wish James a happy birthday down in the comments because, man, fellas in good shape to be 61 year old. He may not come back to lunch with us no more, but. Yeah, he may not come back to lunch we with us. We had fun today, though. I'm okay with coming back. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. Well, it's always good to have you here. It's yeah. always a good time. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes right down here. If you're not subscribed, don't be a stick in the mud. It don't cost you nothing. Take your finger, click that button. Just press the button. That's it's all you got to do. Just thumbs press up it. or free. That's it. Y'all have a great weekend. Catch you later.